Hi everyone, it's Alejandra, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to organize your pencil case. So I have two pencil cases in front of me. I have this one, this is for somebody who's like in middle school or high school, and then I have a pencil box, which is for someone who is in elementary school. So I'm gonna show you both options and show you what's inside and how to keep it organized. Okay, so these are the two pencil cases. So first I'm gonna show you the middle school, high school pencil case, and then I'll show you the elementary school pencil case. Okay, so this pencil case, so I got this from Target, and I feel like this is just like such great quality. Quality. It's not like it's not made of plastic. It's like a um, what is this? I forget what this material is, but um, what is it? Mesh. Oh, it's mesh. Okay, yeah, I guess it's like a mesh. But um, it has I don't know. It just feels like it's really great quality and has a nice zipper. And I think it was two twenty nine. I think at Target. Okay, so let me show you what's inside. Okay, well actually, before I show you what's inside, let's just talk about how to keep this organized. So what you wanna do here is only keep the things that you absolutely need, absolutely use inside your pencil case. Nothing more, nothing less. You don't wanna keep anything more because it's just gonna weigh down your pencil case, which is gonna weigh down your backpack and you're gonna be carrying unnecessary weight. And then also what you wanna do is go through your pencil case every once in a while. Maybe it's like every week or every month or something and take out the things that you're not using or the trash that ends up in here or things that just don't belong in here. So go through that and purge your pencil case every so often. Okay, now let's see what's inside. First thing is a projector. Um, so if I was in math class, I would keep a projector. Um, so yeah, so that's in there. A compass. Now I feel like when I was in math in like middle school or high school we only used a protractor and compass like every so often not very often i don't know i don't really fully remember but if you know you're not going to be using these things for a while take them out so they don't weigh you down okay mini colored pencils so i feel like when i was in middle school or high school i used colored pencils but i didn't use them that often so um so i feel like carrying the mini size which are smaller less weight is better than carrying the full size if you're not using color pencils that often. So I got mini color pencils and I took them out of the bulky box and I put them inside of a small Ziploc bag just like this so they don't just get everywhere. Um, so yeah, small Ziploc bag. Okay, next two things, two highlighters. So I love using yellow highlighters because they're light in color. I feel like the pink are always darker, but it's nice to have uh, two different colors on hand if you're chewing I don't know, some type of activity where you need two different colors. I like the pen highlighters, like the smaller ones, because I feel like, you know, when you highlight something, it doesn't accidentally highlight two lines, it only highlights one line. So yeah, so two highlighters. A thing of sticky notes. Um, so this is, I like these kind because um, the whole thing is sticky with the exception of this little tab right here. This tab is not sticky, but all this is sticky. So it's great to put on your notebook um, to flag a page and then what I always do is I write the subject or I write something up here to remember what those notes are So when I'm just like picking up my notebook, I can see all the tabs and see what the note is Now that I wasted one anyways, so yeah, these are just like pretty colors. So I picked those Okay, um, I feel like you always need a black sharpie marker in your pencil case um, and some other type of color so yeah, I like these ones. I like the ultra fine point Sharpies just because I feel like they don't always go through the paper and yeah, they don't always go through the paper. That's why I like them. Okay, next thing is a bag of reinforcements. So I feel like when you just keep reinforcements not inside of a plastic bag, they always peel off the page and end up like inside your pencil case or on your calculator or something. So if you put them inside a Ziploc bag, it's gonna contain them and it's gonna keep them nice and neat inside the bag. And when they don't fall off, you don't waste them. Okay, next thing is a mini stapler. So I shared this in another video and everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people asked, where did I get this? Cause it's so cute. It's a piece of sushi. I got it in a novelty store in Virginia. Um, if you just go online, I think Amazon sells them. If you Google or Amazon search uh, mini sushi stapler, you'll find it. But I feel like it's great to carry a mini sushi, or not a mini sushi stapler, but it's great to carry a mini stapler because it's not, you know, like a lot of times you get a stapler and there's not one in the classroom or there's only one in the classroom and it's just nice to have your own. Now you can keep it in your locker if you're not using it very often. You don't have to keep it in the pencil case. Okay, another marker that I forgot to talk about. Um, calculator, so you always need a calculator. Um, 
Yeah, here's my TI-83, I think. And that is it. Oh, here's the pencil from uh, my compass. Oh, I forgot to put a pencil in here. Actually, I think there was a pencil in here. I don't know what happened to it, but I had a pencil in here. Um, but yeah, that was everything that I had inside of my middle school, high school pencil case. So now let me show you what's inside my elementary school box. Okay, so this is my elementary school supply box. I'm going to show you exactly what's inside. Um, so when I was putting this video together, or putting the school box together, I was looking at uh, different school supply lists from where I live to kind of put together all the common denominator items to have a complete school box. So um, all the stuff here is all stuff from school supply lists in elementary schools in my area. Okay, so the first thing I did here was I labeled the outside of the school box with my name, my phone number, and my email address. So in case this pencil, if I was a student, in case his pencil box got lost, my name would be on it so whoever found it could easily return it to me and I wouldn't have to, you know, lose my whole pencil box. So if you're a parent watching this video, I would label your child's backpack, their jacket, and their lunchbox, and their school box um, with their name and probably their binder also, if, or folders. Um, so in case it does get lost, they know, the person knows where to return it. And if you're, you know, if you're going to label like the backpack or the jacket or anything with fabric, you can use a fabric label and you can either iron it on or you can sew it on. So um, they make fabric labels for labeling clothing and stuff. Okay, so let's just take a look at what's inside. So this school box is from Target. I don't remember, I think it was like a $1.50 or something, but you can find school boxes everywhere. Okay, so the first thing is a box of 24 crayons. Um, I kept them in the box just because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like they're more contained in the box as opposed to, um, you know, just floating around inside the school box. Now, if they don't fit in here, you can always just keep it on top and then, you know, um, your child just slips it inside their desk or inside their cubby, so it doesn't have to be inside the box. Okay, the next thing is five inch scissors, just like that. They're student scissors a um, three inch by three inch um, pad of sticky notes. So I just chose blue. I kind of used what I had around the house instead of going out and buying new stuff. So I just had blue. A highlighter. So I always like using a yellow highlighter, like I explained, because it's it doesn't like hide the text. It's nice and light. Um, and all the school supply lists I saw, or most of them, it said to have a red pen, a black pen, and a blue pen. So I just got three pens. Two Ticonderoga wooden pencils. So ti Ticonderoga is like the best wooden pencil. It just writes really smoothly and it has a nice clean eraser. Um, I think, uh, depending upon when I'm posting this video, um, in my Target haul video, I showed that Target sells bright colored pencils. So if you, know, if you wanna make it more fun for your child, you can get the bright neon color Ticonderoga pencils. They're only at Target. Okay, in all the school supply lists, they mentioned to have two dry erase markers. So I have a blue one, then I have a black one. A glue stick. So the lists that I was looking at, it said to only get the clear glue, not this is the purple glue. Um, but again, I just used with what I had around the house. Um, but it said, don't get purple, don't get blue, don't get sparkly, only get clear. So anyways, that is purple. Um, colored pencils. So I took the colored pencils out of the box because I felt like the box was kind of bulky, unlike the crayon box. Um, then I felt like it was just easier and there's only 12 and stuff. So I took them out of the box and just put them in the pencil case. So these are kind of nice, they're erasable. I've not tried them out, so I don't know how well they erase, but they are nice because they do erase. All right, the next thing is a pack of eight washable markers in the classic colors. So I felt like the bold colors and some of the other colors were more fun, but all the lists I was looking at specified to get the classic colors. So these are the classic colors. And then the last thing is a, um, just put that down there. The last thing is a pink eraser for you know, racing. Okay, so that's everything inside the elementary school supply box. Um, one other thing that I would 
tell your child or kind of um, get them in the routine of doing is going through their pencil box like every month or something and making sure that there's no trash inside, there's nothing else besides the supplies that I just went through. So for example, if they have like, if they wrote on a sticky note and they messed up and there's like, you know, just paper inside, just like that, you know, make sure you tell them every month, go through and pull out the things that don't belong in there. So you make sure you only have the things that do belong. Now that might be hard because most elementary school students are probably keeping their pencil box inside their desk in the classroom and not bringing it home in their backpack. So you kind of might have to tell them and show them once or twice what to do and then, um, yeah, just keep reminding them to do that every month or so often. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you want more organizing uh, tips for back to school, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit my website at alejandra.tv and I will see you soon. Bye. <music>